Well, hello and welcome to this uh, short exercise on Pythagoras' theorem uh, with a bit of ratio thrown in. Uh, it's to do with laptop and again suitable for, for GCSE, IGCSE, maths and grade 10 algebra and for CXE mathematics. Now what's happened is that I bought myself a new laptop and then he says to me that the screen size is at 9.6 centimeters. I prefer to work in metric as opposed to in bureau. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the length of the diagonal is at 9.6 centimeters. Uh, that's what we got there. So that's the 9.6 from this end to this end here. Now, in doing this exercise, I'm assuming that this point here is 90 degrees. And hopefully it is. And we're supposed to find the length A and the length B. So the length A will be we're looking for this length here. Uh, for the length B, we're looking for this length here. So that's B there. Okay. We are also told that, or I was told that, the aspect ratio of the screen of my laptop is uh, 16 to 9. Now, using this, this information, the, the length of the diagonal and the aspect ratio, I intend to find A and B. Because we've got to, we're going to have two equations and we have two unknowns there. So, the Pythagoras, the Pythagoras theorem, as we know, is a squared plus b squared is equal to 9.6 squared, where 9.6 is the length of the diagonal there. Uh, because this ratio is 16 to 9, we can actually write this as a divided by b is equal to 16 over 9. If we then cross multiply, we have that a is equal to uh, 16b over 9 there. If, if we then substitute this value of a into the Pythagoras uh, theorem, the Pythagoras equation there, we then have that 16b over 9 all squared, because this is now our a, all squared plus b squared is the 9.6 squared, the diagonal squared. Now, if we just square this bit here, the a bit here, we end up with 256b squared over 81 because 16 squared is 256 and 9 squared is 81. And then b squared is b squared, obviously. And then plus b squared is equal to that 9.6 all squared there. Now, if we then multiply every term, sorry, if we then multiply each of these terms by 81, we end up with 256b squared plus 81b squared is equal to 81 times that 9.6 squared. Now, I'm going to change this 81 to 9 squared. So our next line then becomes 256b squared plus 81b squared is equal to 9 squared times that 9.6 squared. Okay. If we then collect like terms, add these two b squares together, we end up with 337b squared is equal to 9 squared times that 9.6 all squared. If we then divide both sides by 337, we end up with b squared is equal to 9 squared times that 9.6 squared. Now all of that divided by 337 there. If we then take the square root of both sides, we have that b is equal to 9 times that 9.6 divided by the square root of 337. And the square root of 337 is 18.36, so we then gives us a, a b value of 19.4 centimeters. Hope I'm making sense so far. Now, if we then substitute the value of b from there to there, so we replace b by 19.4 centimeters, that then gives us that, that a value is 16 times 19.4 divided by 9, and that's equal to 34. Five centimeters, and I've checked, and that seems okay to me. Now. now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Hopefully, see you again sometime.